Hi Sagittarius and welcome to your monthly tarot reading for October. Thank you so much for joining me today and this is a general reading that could help any sun, moon, or rising Sagittarius. Inner trust. So really this is a sense with your mind is to trust yourself, trust your capabilities, trust um, trust your desires and, and what's coming through for you and what you want to achieve in life and what you want to become and your vision for your own life that you're creating. Have the trust in yourself that you're on the right path. And so um, often we have to deal with people who want to shoot you down and want to rain on your parade and when you start talking about your hopes or dreams. So those are the people maybe that you can have less discussions with and you should focus on people who also have a sense of this intuitiveness which is to encourage and to uh, walk beside you in whatever you're hoping to to build within your life. Happiness, joy, companionship, children, family, you know, studies, entrepreneurship, whatever it may be, is to, this is a message to trust yourself, trust your own process of how you do things. And this inner trust, you know, sometimes you just, we self-doubt can be crushing and thinking about what others think about us can also be crushing. And so uh, if you can find a way just to ignore what others say and focus on what you believe in, and because that's a very powerful, powerful part of our mind and of our spirit, which is to focus on what's inside and uh, if you spend so much time listening to others, trying to pull you down or, or not let you be successful, you know, that creates self-doubt and, you know, it's hard to move forward from that. So trust yourself, trust your hunches, trust your instinct, your instinct, listen to your gut. If something doesn't feel right, then adjust, move away, cut out the toxic people, um, surround yourself with others who believe intuitively that, um, that we all have this great power within and that we need to access it, we need to let it fly, and we need to, um, again, uh, go to it when we need to and, and how do we access it. I think of the high priestess, I think of meditating, of stillness, calmness, of really reflect, reflecting on your life and what you want to achieve, where you want to go, what kind of love do you want to have. A beautiful card to begin with for the week. Now let's get a sense of spiritual self, emotional self, serenity. The most important relationship you can have is with yourself. This is a time to honor, nurture, and love yourself more by seeking out and removing any negative feelings and emotions that were left over from yesterday. Don't let past issues and resentments interfere with your serenity today. So it really does work in tandem with inner trust of trusting yourself surrounding you surrounding yourself with people who are like-minded who also have um, the strong faith in themselves the intuitive desire to be a great person to be compassionate to be loving this is a very simple message which is take care of yourself 
love yourself. Uh, it's okay to be selfish sometimes. It's okay to say no. Instead of always saying yes to in invitations or things or it's another important party, please come, you need to come. You know, you have to decide what's important for you and your body and your mind. And if that means taking a time out, then take the time out. And uh, serenity is something you really have to cultivate. You have to develop it. Uh, you have to really inner trust, loving of yourself. Deleting, punch and delete the negative energy. Punch, like on your computer, delete the negative energy. Um, another just thing to think about is that every day is a new day. Start with a clean slate. Let go of the hurt. Let go of the things that really troubled you yesterday, if you can. And try to start with a fresh attitude. Start with a prayer of gratitude, of, of um, grateful for my good health. I'm grateful for my, my job. I'm grateful for my dear friends that I work with or my family. One small piece to start in a positive, um, peaceful way with your day. But, you know, holding on to each daily grudge and each daily um, battle will tear at you and will certainly impact health and your mind and uh, it's hard to have peace when you're when you are in this negative whirlpool and if you're in this place where uh, it just seems everybody's a, a downer try to find the people who are up Try to find the people who are thinking um, about being kind and good and generous with, generous with others. Interesting. So find the time to take care of yourself. Ta find the time to listen to yourself next week. Let's take a look at body. Okay, what's going on with our body? Inner authority. Thank you for supporting me as I take back my power and listen to my intuition, desires, and feelings. So this is a week of inner work, of um, trusting yourself, listening to your intuition, listening to your feelings, paying attention to dreams, looking for messages that are around you, and finding your serenity. Sorry for the glare. Again, inner authority, inner trust, trusting you to do things, believing in yourself, having faith in yourself. Um, paying attention to your feelings. If something doesn't feel right, then again, adjust, do something differently. Get into a position where you are in harmony with how you feel and what you are sensing and what you are intuiting. And uh, that's going to clear away perhaps a lot of the, a lot of the negativity. Hmm. Wow, what a strong message this week. Okay, so let's get a practice area. This is another lovely deck. I think it's called the Whispers of Love. Turn on your heart light. Allow yourself in this moment to reflect on a time when you experienced love. So this is a beautiful thought and for a week, isn't it a great idea just to think about 
um, a loving scene from your life and a loving moment that you shared with someone perhaps or that uh, just came about randomly. Uh, this is empowering. It uh, helps to, to build some serenity when you're able to reconnect with these memories of love and what it feels like and how your heart feels so powerful and so uh, present. Allow yourself in this moment to reflect on a time when you experience love. So I hope that you will do that. I hope that you will take a coffee break and just think about a loving moment. And, you know, there's a, uh, there is a power to, to, to connecting with your past experiences. And hopefully you have some good past experiences to think about, to say, yeah, I remember that time right after college. I was so happy when I was with him or whomever. So, um, because I think that when you are able to connect with this shared loving experience that you've had, and that you are setting your mind to a visualization and to a place that's going to say, I want more. I want more of these experiences of love. And so if you're thinking of love, if you're thinking of, of positive, powerful experiences in your life, then you're setting your, your mindset to receive that. And so, you know, our thoughts become actions and it's the greatest tool. Read Napoleon Hill's book, Think and Grow Rich of how your, mind's your mind <laughs> controls, really, how you shape your life. And finally, let's pull a card for theme, kind of something to meditate, to contemplate for the week. And, you know, it's a, this is a week of serenity and of intuition and trusting yourself and feeling love, feeling, letting your heart uh, remember the good times. Okay. Acceptance. Beautiful card of accepting. Accepting uh, all everything that comes into your life, really. We have positive experiences, we have less than positive, we have challenges. And instead of becoming bitter or angry at the challenges, you have to really think about how they're making you, making you a stronger person. And so when you're able to accept sometimes that people are not always gonna have your best interests at heart, some will, you know, then you can just uh, keep the potential for being upset at a, at a more stable level. So there's a sense of accept, um, accept the goodness, accept the universe that is here to help us, to guide us, accept whatever love that you have coming to you, and accept that you are going to be a loving creature to give love to others. And um, it's easier to accept and move on. I think that's probably that what I would take away from it is that sometimes you just uh, have to say, yep, this happened and I'm ready to move on. And uh, acceptance is, it can be tricky for some because they want to hold on to that this wasn't fair and I'm gonna, I need to get back at this or I need to even things up. But maybe the more powerful action is to accept it and to let it go. And again, easier said than done with these cards and what we say. Life is complicated, it's complex. We live challenging lives that have a lot going on and a lot of branches on the trees that are intertwined. 
And if we can just find one small step each day just to, to improve how we feel, to improve our interactions with others, you know, that's half the battle. So um, the takeaway that I feel this week is clearly listen to your uh, intuitive side and trust yourself. You know, accept your decisions that you make. Your, your decisions are probably coming from a very good place, which is your heart and from your sense of feeling peaceful. And again, your inner authority is just listening to your intuition, your feelings, um, and having faith in yourself. So, a very beautiful reading for the week. If you enjoyed this reading, please like, share, or comment. I would love to hear from you and what you think any of these cards, how they resonate with you. If you're new to the channel, please think about subscribing. It's a great way to show support and to stay connected. We have a great community here, so I, th I hope that you'll think about subscribing. And I hope that you will check back again next week for another weekly oracle reading. Take care and blessings to you. Bye-bye.